Katie Wendorf. I'm 20 years old and grew up here on Kentor Holsteins outside of Viroqua, Wisconsin. I began my involvement in the dairy industry watching my brother, sister, and dad. They've been great role models for me in kickstarting my involvement. I have enjoyed the many aspects of the Junior Holstein Association, which have allowed me to broaden my horizons. I currently attend Harvard University, which I chose for the academic opportunity at the cost of a dairy science education. I plan on going into chemical research and may one day find myself again involved in the dairy industry, perhaps working for an animal pharmaceutical company or some sort of animal health project. Door Holsteins. We are a family owned and operated dairy farm with 100% registered Holsteins. We currently milk about 40 cows and grow crops on 160 acres of land. Here is where the youngest calves are housed. The building has special sidewall curtains that are easily opened and closed depending on the weather. When a calf is born, it is important to feed colostrum, the first milk given by the mother, as soon as possible. Calves are then fed milk from a special standardized formula along with growth promoting grain until they are about two months of age. At this point, they are weaned to a diet of grain, water, and hay and moved from the individual pens into larger group pens. Here is where the cows are milked. When the weather is warmer, they spend most of their time outside eating corn silage, haylage, and hay, and also grazing. During the coldest months of the year, they are kept and fed inside. To be profitable, cows will ideally calve about every 13 months. Our cows are milked twice a day. During milking, it is important to keep a consistent routine, milking 12 hours apart and following the same protocols each time. This way, the cow's natural schedule allows her to let down her milk when it is time to be milked. Milk letdown is also stimulated when the udder is sanitized and wiped and a few streams are squeezed out to check for milk quality. All of these steps lead to a safe and sanitary product. Our cows are treated with the utmost respect, more or less the way we would treat our own mothers. After all, these cows are all mothers. It takes a cow approximately six minutes to finish milking. The milk travels through the pipeline into the milk house where it is stored and cooled in a large tank. From there, a milk truck comes once every other day to pick up the milk and take it to the plant. There it goes through many processes to ensure that it is safe and healthy for you. At face value, today's Holstein cow is the product of generations upon generations of strategic breeding, along with the blood, sweat, and tears of dairy producers everywhere to provide the world with nature's most perfect food. But on a personal level, it is so much more than that. The Holstein cow represents the lessons that I learned growing up on the farm. It is through the Holstein cow that I learned the value of hard work, the importance of teamwork and working together with my family, and what it means to earn success. The Holstein cow is how I learned about finance, health, and biology before I ever learned it in school. The Holstein cow is about investment, not only on a financial basis, but the investment of time, effort, and really just pouring your heart and soul into what you love. It is about thanking God when things are going well and praying when they are not. The Holstein Cow brings people together, whether through the Holstein Association and its conventions, youth programs like Dairy Judging and Quiz Bowl, or casual conversation between a producer and a vet, an AI technician, or the cashier at the local feed mill. There is a sense of camaraderie between Holstein enthusiasts that cannot be found anywhere else in the world. <laughs>